today we are going to start the first chapter of class 11th physics that is unit and dimension under unit and dimension the very first topic is the systems of units so before going to systems of units we need to define certain physical quantities so what is physical quantity all quantities in terms of which laws of physics can be expressed and which can be measured directly or indirectly are called physical quantities so those quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly those quantities are called physical quantities if that quantity is cannot be measured directly or indirect process then this that quantity is not called physical quantity for example distance speed time mass acceleration force etc these all can be measured so these are called physical quantities so for all physical quantities we need measurement so now for measurement we need unit so the choose standard of same kind taken as reference in order to measure a physical quantity is called unit of that quantity that means if we take a standard reference to measure certain physical quantity that standard reference is called unit of measurement the process of measurement of physical quantity involves two process the first is the selection of unit and then second is to find out the number of times that unit is contained in the physical quantity that means first we have to choose the unit which unit is required for uh, physical quantity and second how many times that unit is repeated or need that is number of times for this we have to take a very good example such that there is a table whose length need to be measured so for that we have an apparatus or a 1 meter rod we find we try to find out the length of the table so for finding the length of the table it must may be greater than 1 meter but we are not know that what is the length of the table so let after putting this rod on the table 1 2 3 and four four times when we uh, put the rod over the table we the total length of the table is calculated so we can write 4 into 1 meter because four times it is put here so 4 into 1 meter is equal to 4 meter 4 meter is the length of the table so according to this experiment we can write the measure of physical quantity that is measure of physical quantity is here length of the table so measure of physical quantity is equal to numerical value of physical quantity numerical value of physical quantity into size of it unit size of unit is here 1 meter and the numerical value is 4 so this is the actual definition so in mathematical form if the size of the unit is u small n is the numerical value of the physical quantity and capital x is the quantity of the measure so according to this the formula is x is equal to n into u next the two supplementary units are number 1 physical plane angle unit is radian and symbol is rad and number 2 solid angle unit is steradian symbol is sr 
now we have to define all these uh, seven uh, fundamental and two supplementary units one by one the number one is meter keeping in view the various difficulty encountered in the earlier definition of meter earlier definition of meter in uh, mks system fps system cgs system in 1960 the 11th general conference of weights and measures decided to redefine meter by adopting atomic standard on atomic standard 1 meter is defined as to be equal to 1650763.3 wavelength in vacuum of orange red color radiation emitted by krypton having mass number 86 so also in 1983 one meter was defined as the length of the path traveled by the light in the vacuum during a time interval of 1 divided by 2997925458 of second the other units which are the very small units 1 fermi is equal to 1 fermo meter that is 1 fm is equal to 10 to the power minus 15 meter 1 angstrom that is 8 angstrom is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter these are the smaller unit of meter next is larger unit are number 1 1 light year 1 light year is equal to as we know that distance is equal to speed into time so one year that means 165 into 24 hours 60 minutes 60 second and speed of the light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 so it is nearly one light year is nearly equal to 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter next is 1 eu that is astronomical unit it is mean distance of sun from the earth and one astronomical unit is equal to 1.496 into 10 to the power 11 meter second number is kilogram in si system kilogram is the mass of the platinum iridium cylinder kept in the international bureau of weights and measure at sevier near paris france the atomic and the nuclear physics mass is measured in terms of atomic mass unit amu 1 amu is defined as 1 by 12th of carbon of 1 c6 12 atom which is nearly equal to 1 amu is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg number 3 second 1 second was defined as equal to the duration of 9192631770 vibration corresponding to the transmission between two hyperfine level of cesium 133 atom into the ground itself these are the all definitions in the all scientist derived number 4 kelvin kelvin it is the unit of temperature it is defined as 1 divided by 273.16 fraction of the thermodynamic temperature at the triple point of water number 5 ampere it is the unit of current 1 ampere is defined as the current generating a force of 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newton per meter between two straight parallel conductors of infinite length and negligible circular cross section when placed on 1 meter apart in vacuum number 6 candela it is the unit of luminous intensity one candela is luminous intensity in perpendicular direction of a surface 1 divided by 600000 square meter of a black body at temperature of freezing plutonium 2046.65 kelvin and under a pressure of 101325 newton per square meter number 7 is mole it is the unit of quantity of matter it is amount of substance containing same number of elementary units as there are atoms in 0.012 kg of c12 now these are the seven fundamental units next is uh, supplementary units number 1 radian 
it is the unit of plane angle it is plane angle between the two radii of circle which cut off from the circumference at arc equal to length of the radius so this is the diagram this is the length of the arc this is r radius this is theta so theta is equal to l by r stair radiant is the unit of solid angle it is the solid angle which is apex at the center of the sphere that is three dimensional that cut off area on the surface of the sphere equal to the area of the square whose sides are equal to the radius of the sphere solid angle is defined as the area cut out of the surface of the sphere divided by radius square now what are the advantages of si system si has the following advantages of the other systems of units number 1 it is a rational system of the unit that means si system makes use of only one unit for one physical quantity for example for all types of energies that is mechanical energy heat energy electric energy light energy etc joule is used as a unit of energy in the si system si system is a coherent system of units in si system all the derived units can be obtained by dividing or multiplying the basic and supplementary units and no numerical factors are involved so it is a coherent system of unit number 3 the si is closely related to cgs system it is very easy to change over to cgs system from si and vice versa and number 4 si is metric system that is like cgs and mks system it is also a metric system the multiples and sub multiples can be expressed as a power of 10 so these are some problems which uh, is very important according to this chapter uh, number 1 first problem is how many light years are there in a 1 meter number 2 question is how many times a kg is larger than a uh, milligram Number three, the mass of a proton is 1.67 into 10 to the minus 27 kg. How many protons would make the one gram? And express 0.000003 meter as a power of 10. These questions can be solved very easily. We will discuss it in the next video, in which we going to solve all these. one by one so hope we will you will all understand this very first topic of unit and dimension now next is it follows that if the size of the chosen unit is small the numerical value of the quantity will be large and vice versa now the measure of the physical quantity is always the same that is n into u is equal to a constant whatever is the measurement if we use 2 meter rod instead of 1 meter rod but the size of the table will be fixed so the the this quantity x which is the length of the table always remain fixed so n into u is constant another example is If n one is the numerical value of the physical quantity for a unit u one, and n two is the numerical value of the physical quantity u two, so we know that n into u is equal to constant. So for first case, n one u one is equal to constant, and for the second case, n two u two is equal to constant. So both are equal to constant. So n one u one is equal to n two u two. This result is very very useful in the dimension chapter for. solving various type of problem or to change one system to another system now next fundamental and derived units what are the fundamental unit the fundamental units are those units which can neither be derived from one another nor can be further resolved into any other units that means fundamental are the very first units which is not derived from another unit and we cannot further resolve into another smaller units it is the smallest unit for this 
the very beginning we have three types of fundamental units that is mass length and time it is the smallest unit mass then length and then time are called fundamental physical quantities and their units are known as fundamental units for mass we have kilogram denoted in kg length meter small m time second next is derived units derived units that means as the name suggest it is derived from fundamental units so the unit of all physical quantities which can be expressed in terms of fundamental units of mass length time are called derived unit that means the derived units are formed from fundamental units of these three that is mass length and time for example this area of the square is equal to side into side and the fundamental unit of side is length and the unit is meter so we can write area of the square is equal to meter into meter is equal to meter square similarly speed is defined as distance by time the fundamental unit of distance is meter and time is second so it is speed is meter per second okay now characteristics of standard unit it should be well defined it should be suitable size neither too large nor too small it should be easily reproducible at all places all places it should be reproducible that means it can be justified it should not change with time and from place to place it value will be fixed it should be easily accessible and number 6 it should not change with change in its physical condition that is for temperature pressure for changing the temperature for changing the pressure it value will be fixed unit is fixed so it is the these are the characteristics of standard unit next is system of units so first system of unit is cgs system this system is set up in france cgs means fundamental unit c for centimeter g for gram and s for second centimeter gram second centimeter for length gram for mass second is for time it is a metric system of unit next is fps system FPS system is the British system in which length is measured in foot, F for foot, P for pound, and S for second. So it is for length, this is for mass, and this is for time. It is used in scientific work. Number three is MKS system. It is also set up in France. It is length is measured in meter, mass in kilogram, and time in second mk system is the coherent system of unit in mechanics what is coherent system a system of unit is said to be coherent if all the derived units can be obtained by multiplying or dividing its fundamental units such that no numerical factors are introduced so it is mks system the very most important system because all these systems is not justified the various problems so we need a, another system which is called si system full form of si is systematic international d units it is based on seven basics and two supplementary units so what are the seven basic units number 1 length unit is meter symbol is small m number 2 mass unit is kilogram symbol is kg number 3 time unit is second symbol is small s temperature unit is kelvin symbol is capital k next is electric current unit is ampere symbol is capital a next is luminous intensity unit is candela symbol is small cd and last is quantity of the substance it is unit is mole and symbol is small 
M O L